I check in, man. It's your boy E.I. The King, and this is the Incarceration Podcast. Right now, we in Target. We're going to be doing some random random interviews, uh, asking people if they've ever been to jail or prison, and see if we can get some dope, cool jail or prison stories out of them. So, coming live from Tampa, Florida, and Target. How you doing today, sir? Do you mind if I stop you for one second for a real brief interview? My name is... Uh, my name is Iada King. I'm with the Incarceration Podcast, and we're just asking um, random people if they've ever been incarcerated. Have you ever been incarcerated, sir? Uh, no, sir. Um, you've and, never and, been? And please, don't talk, please don't photograph me any further. Yes, sir. I apologize. You have a great I day. I don't want to become incarcerated. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. This is State of Florida versus Stephen Testa with multiple cases before the court. Hey, big dog. Hey, what's going on, Brody? Hey, you mind if I interrupt you for one second, dog, and ask you a quick question? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. What's going on, bro? Good to meet you, man. I'm E.I. the King. What's your name, bro? Keon. Keon. Yeah. All right, listen, man. I'm, I'm, so I'm E. I. The King with the Incarceration Podcast, and we're just randomly interviewing people. Yeah. So I got a question for you, dog. Have you ever been to jail? Have you ever been incarcerated? No. Never? No, never. Okay, do you know anybody that has? No, I don't think. Oh, yeah, one person. Uh, who would that be? Uh, my friend. Your friend? What did he go to jail for? He went to jail for stealing. Do you know what he was stealing? No. He didn't tell me. All right. What are your just like general thoughts of like jail or prison? Uh, pretty negative. I guess. All right. Like, do you feel like you could make it if you were to um go to this oh. say worst case scenario if you were to be incarcerated for five years? You think you survive? Oh yeah. No pressure. Yeah, probably. What do you think would happen the first day? I you don't think know. you have to like set somebody straight to kind of like set the tone to like show everybody like you're not the one to um to play with? I've seen that, but probably not. I probably wouldn't do that. That's real. What are your thoughts of like convicted felons in general, um, like returning citizens, people getting out of jail, prison? Like, do you feel like they deserve a second chance or they should rot forever? What are your thoughts in general when it comes to like people who are incarcerated or coming home from incarceration? I feel like people who commit blue collar crimes are fine. Like they deserve second chances. I mean, everyone deserves second chances, but like more so people whose crimes aren't that violent. Mm -hmm. I feel like if your crime's violent, then you should be monitored more closely you know okay now like on parole yeah, yeah that's fire that's fire i appreciate it man yeah. hey do you mind if we use this for youtube content oh uh, yeah that's fine i appreciate it bro thank you dog you have a good one g sorry to interrupt y'all no, you right, have a good one <clears throat> just let me see this shot so i can see excuse me man excuse me man Excuse me, can I stop you for one second? Interview for 10 seconds, please. I'm sorry, I actually have to get going. I'm nah, it's, it's all good. Bit. All right, thank you. thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. How you doing today? Sorry to bother you. Can I interview you for 10 seconds, please? Hey. 10 seconds? Yeah? Okay, how you doing can today? You? Good. Can My you name? speak Spanish? No. It would be easier for me. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm trying to make it super simple, okay? okay My name is E.I. Okay. E. the King with the Incarceration Podcast. Okay. I have a question. Have you ever been, like, to jail or prison? No. Thanks, Evan. No. No? Okay. Do you know anybody that has? I had a cousin. A cousin. Un primo. A cousin. Mm -hmm. A cousin who was incarcerated? Yes. Did he go to jail or prison? What's the difference? Well, jail is, like, for, like, short term and the prison is for, like, a long time. In prison. You, do you know how long he was sentenced to prison for? Uh, he died of cancer uh, like 20 years ago. So he was more than since he was a teenager till the adulthood. Okay. How long in prison did he do? But he spent his time in Puerto Rico. Oh, the, all in Puerto Rico? The, yes, we are Puerto Ricans. And mm. when he was young, uh, marijuana was the worst thing that could happen to anyone, and he started with marijuana and then get went to heroin, and he got a federal, federal. Uh, Fentanyl. No, no, no. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. No, it uh, federal prison. Oh, he went time. to a federal prison. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, how much time did he end up doing? 
Uh, more than 15 years. At that time, there were some experiments in the deals uh, in the island, and they were experimenting, experimenting uh, with medicines for the liver. He went through those uh, exams and treatment, and they cut his jail time. But after that, he spent like five or ten years working and doing his life correctly. But then he got uh, cancer of the liver. There were times at <clears throat> it was the time that they were starting with the transplants. He was afraid. He didn't do it, and he died. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, ma'am. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing that story with us. There was a life that was lost and in prison. He evaluated and started a new way of seeing his life. So. Amen. Amen. That's good. So, That's happened to me. I did 12 years in prison, and when I was incarcerated, I encountered Jesus, and he completely transformed my life. You, know? you have to evaluate your life. It's very precious to lose it, too. Of course. Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry to bother you. Can I interview for like 10 seconds? 10 seconds, please. Okay, yeah. All right, great to meet you. My name is E.I. The King, and I'm with the Incarceration Podcast. What is your name? I'm Olivia. Olivia, great to meet you. Question, have you ever been to jail? No. Do you know anybody who's ever been incarcerated? I don't think so. You don't know anybody who's ever been to jail? Oh, no actually, one. I do know one person. Who is it? Well, it's like a friend, for, old friend from high school. Okay, do you know what he went to jail for? A DUI. A DUI? Yeah. Did he get sentenced? Like, did he do, um, like, county time? Or did he just, like, bond it out? Just a night in jail? Yeah, just bond it out. Okay. Um, what are your thoughts of, like, people who are, who are in, currently incarcerated and they're, like, transitioning home from incarceration? How do you feel about, like, felons or just people, criminals in general, or people who've been labeled criminals? What are just your general thoughts? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think about it. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I don't really associate myself with those type of people. And like they're lower, lower class? No, I wouldn't say lower class. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't really find myself around them. Do you feel like people coming home from prison or people who are convicted felons, like they deserve equal opportunity or like another shot? Or is it kind of like, man, screw them? No, I definitely think they get, like, should get another shot. That's real. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> hey, can we use this for YouTube? Sure. All right, thank you. You have a good one. Appreciate you. Any, any way I can make it better? Excuse me, ma'am. How you doing today? Sorry to bother you. Can I interview for 10 seconds, please? No, 10 please. seconds? No? Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Can I interview for 10 seconds, please? No, all right. Thank you, ma'am. You have a great day.